All right, guys, in this video, I want to show you how you can install Lightroom presets on Lightroom CC, Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Mobile, and even if you have an old version of Lightroom, like Lightroom 5. Also, I'm going to give you some of my best presets for free and show you how to use them. All right, guys, so installing presets got a little complex over the time because I'm going to show you on all the versions how to do it right. So here you are. I have Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC, which is what you have now, the latest version if you are a Creative Cloud member. So that is so easy to use now. And I'm also going to show you if you're not a Creative Cloud member and you've got like an old legacy version of Lightroom. So let's start by people which are lucky, which are Creative Cloud members. And by the way, don't forget to smash that like button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to learn. I make two videos every week and I need some inspiration from you guys. The latest version of Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, it is so easy. You go to the develop module. I have a lot of presets already installed. Oh, by the way, I'm going to give you free preset. What I'm installing right now is what I'm giving you. The link is below the video. It's some of my best presets for free. And all you have to do is click here, click on import preset. You're going to get my welcome kit. And in my welcome kit, there's lots of things, but you've got free presets. Now, if you're a Creative Cloud member, all you have to do is locate the zip file called Light Photoshop CC preset.zip. Click import and you are done. It's going to create all the different categories. You have like search bad weather, search basic, search black and white, search urban look. It's all there for you. And I'm going to give you some inspiration in just a sec. Lightroom CC, same thing. If you're into Lightroom CC, all you have to do is click here to the develop module, click on preset, click on import preset, locate the same zip file, click import, and you are done and it's installed. Now, where it gets a little more complex is when you use an old version of Lightroom. So this is Lightroom 5, mesdames et messieurs, Lightroom 5 from a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And here you don't have an option to uh, import preset. That option doesn't exist in the develop module. So what you have to do is you have to go to Lightroom, preference, you have to go to external, no, sorry, you have to go to preset, show Lightroom preset folder, okay? You have to locate the develop preset. This is what you're looking for, develop preset. And in what you downloaded from me, my, my toolbox that you downloaded from me, instead of using the zip file, you use the folder here, which is called Lightroom 5 and 6 preset for all version. And you copy what's inside, command shift C, copy five items. You go here in a develop preset and you paste. Then you restart Lightroom. It doesn't work if it doesn't restart Lightroom. So Lightroom, quit and restart. Okay, now I've restarted Lightroom and you have the same setup here. Search American Night, search Black and White, search Bad Weather, search Basic, search Urban Look. All of these are free presets for you. And now they are in my Lightroom 5. So let me go to my Lightroom Classic because that's what I use today. And let me show you what you can do with this preset. So here is a photo of Montmartre, one of the nicest out of Paris. And I'm going to use, for example, the Surge Basic Drama. And it's just a starting point. I can There's a circle there that I can put, for example, on here for example or not like on the cd lights all my presets have like circles that you put around them if you think it's too strong you can just lower the value it's just to make you know the photo shine a little more when you use a preset it's only a starting point you have still to hold on the option key and do your black point uh, make sure you got two three percent of black do your white point voila and check it out before after using a search drama okay let's take another one this one, this is a night photography. Uh, let's see, search basic drama doesn't work. So not every preset is going to work. Uh, basic neutral in this one works well. Boom. And what it doesn't look like it, but there's 27 sliders being applied in one click. That's the before. That's the after. Uh, there's so much you can do with this preset. They're all free for you. Black and white. Check this out. The Ansel Adam series. Basic. Basic with gradient. So the idea of, of, of this black and white preset is the basic only does a general retouching. Uh, and AA stands for Ansel Adams, which is the master of black and white. Then you have Ansel Adams, Drama, Gradient, Filter. It's the same thing, but you got a filter here. Let me show you. You got one filter for the top of the photo, one filter for the sky, and one filter for the bottom. Uh, a gradient filter, I mean. And uh, so you have that. And, oops, so, and then you have... So let me reset this. The next one is called the Ansel Adams Drama Radial Circle Dark, or you have got the Ansel 
drama, radial circle, light or mid, uh, middle. So just it's different level of exposure. I love this one. And you see it says radial circle. So you not only have the gradient filter here on top, like we had before, but if you go to circle, you've got a whole bunch of circles that you have to put in different places where you want people to look at your photo or different ways to break uh, and make more interesting uh, levels of gray based on the zone system that Ansel Adams was using, which was basically assigning different levels of gray to different sections of the photo. And I'm doing this in Lightroom. I think Ansel Adams would have loved to use that. So I'm just basically, they're very subtle circle, but let me show you before the circle. Let me put this on auto so that when I go out of my, you can see, um, you can see here before the circle, after the circle, it just really make that little dodging, making some parts of the photo a little bit brighter. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do one more. Uh, let's maybe use the Serge Herbert look. These are extreme looks. They don't always work well, uh, but uh, let's see if the, something is going to work on this photo. And uh, no, on this one, I don't think it's going to work. So I think I'm going to go just to the basic sunset. Yeah, I'm going to use the search basic drama again. And I could go on for hours and hours. I have done six books using preset. Presets is only a starting point, mesdames et messieurs. It's not the end of everything. So let's this one I'm going to go, for example, 16 by 9 because I got to crop this a little bit. Voila. And then uh, let's take the gradient here, make it lower. Voila. I think I want to add even more contrast, lower. You know, you have to check your black point. Okay, this one is more black point. Your white point, this one is more, a little more white point. And voila, I mean, in, in just a click, you know, 27 sliders. So, and let me show you in Lightroom CC. Not I installed them in Lightroom CC. For example, I can take this one here and let me go to uh, sur basic sunset. Boom. Same thing, back, backslash key to see the before and the after. Let's do this one. This is an homage to Ansel Adams again, black and white. I love this black and white preset. Look at this, one click, one click, and you, and you get that result. I've not even adjusted anything. So you can download them for free. The link is below the video. Install them that way based on your version of Lightroom, and they will be on your phone automatically because you've used uh, Lightroom CC because Lightroom CC is just an extension of your Lightroom mobile, which is really cool. So this is how you install preset and this is how you use them. Give it a try.